back into the channel. It's very noisy right now. I'm actually at U-Haul. Gonna pick up that cargo van. Going to go pick up some exercise equipment today to flip locally. I'm gonna bring you guys along the hauling of it back to our office space. A breakdown of what we bought, how much we paid for it all, the whole process. All right, just got the key to the cargo van. So let's go get this stuff. All right, just parked. I am sitting outside the building right now that we're gonna go clean out. Waiting for my buddy, Jacob Portland Pickers. He's actually the one that nailed this whole deal. He does estate sales full time. That's what this was. He knows that I love to flip exercise equipment on Facebook Marketplace. So he hit me up and said, hey, just found a deal. You might wanna check it out. So he's on his way right now to come help me clean this out. And that's why we're constantly preaching that you need to be making friends in the resale industry. Because a lot of times, People look at each other as competition when that's not the case at all. You are all hunting different types of product. So for example, I love to flip bigger stuff because we have the warehouse space and I've got the market for it. So when people find big stuff like exercise equipment that they don't want to deal with, they usually hit me up to go get one of those deals and vice versa. I found many, many things throughout my resale career so far where I personally have no interest in it. Maybe it's not a product that I know much about, but I have a network of reseller friends. Now I can hit up and say, Hey, there's a deal here at this location. Maybe you're interested. So stop treating each other like competition. Get out there and make some friends. You'd be shocked how much more money you can actually make by increasing your network. I found so him. You're the one. You're the one that outbid me. <laughs> Like I have this controller, so like to have the box that goes with it. Oh, that's yeah, way that's cool. Cool. Yeah, just having the box. Wait, this was all left behind? Yeah. Wow. So, and that's, so I that's guess we sweet. should let you guys go through it first before we... That would be awesome, yeah. Google? Sure. We appreciate that. Okay. Vintage Looney. Oh, yep. That goes in your box. Uh, Animaniacs. Yes. So it looks like we got some bonuses because people left this stuff behind. So, freebies. I mean, it's free and there's a whole box of them, dude. Dude. Even if you get five bucks a piece. And, you know, that's just nice to have yep. inside. Is that one of those vintage cases? <laughs> Star Wars puzzle? Warehouse, oh, it's empty. Dang. See, this is the beautiful part about cleaning out other people's stuff. They have no idea what they have. This was all gonna go to Goodwill, by the way. So. State sale king. That's what we call this guy. All right, let's go look at the exercise equipment that we got our hands on. Yeah, take a look at. Oh man, so excited right now. All right, so my man Jacob here texted me. He said, "Hey, I'm at an estate sale. Last day, they're taking was was an offer or was that the price?" She she just said. 200 bucks, take it all. So 200 bucks, take all. He sent me two pictures. I honestly didn't look at anything else in the pictures except. Bowflex, 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 new in the box. I literally have no idea, no idea what else is here. Obviously, treadmill. If we don't keep that for the garage, because Trista really wants one, um, that's probably, depending on the brand model, all that stuff, probably 50 bucks, 40 bucks. But the Bowflex stuff, I have to pull it out, look it all up, but that should be worth a good amount of money there. Oh my gosh, Beach Buddy. My old stomping grounds. I was a coach for this company for like, eight years all right looks like less than those pump hands hand weights if i remember right yep all right so not bad a lot of this is probably just not going to be worth much but some of it might be worth 20 30 bucks by itself and there's a whole bunch of boxes these are all new see right here these were never open a whole bunch of stuff back here so now we have to get this inside the u-haul take them back home and uh see what we can make on it oh 
Nice. It's a musician's chair, I believe. That's high quality. Yeah, it's a musician's chair on that one. That's high quality H2O. High quality H2O. Like, seriously? This is so weird that it's all free. <laughs> Yes, old school Nokia. Do you want do you want this BB gun? BB gun? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's Dude, some of these might be worth some actual doll hairs. Yeah, this whole box, old school phones. This is like prime warehouse sale item right here. Hey, yep. All right, not bad. We came for exercise equipment, but Jacob's coming out with. <laughs> All kinds of boxes, all for free, because it's all left over. Uh, Star Trek poster. Done. Yes. I guess I'm Actually, what's this? So we got Star Trek in the background. Somebody will pay a few bucks for at the warehouse sale. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, you done lucked out, boy. All right, so now we're upstairs whole bunch more including some of these are empty boxes but the boxes are pristine so maybe there's a collector out there who wants a pristine box for their collection Including Star Trek blueprint something just a gimme. We'll show you what this guy picked out. Oh, That's the last of it he Filled up his car. Oh the video's coming. All right, check this out Filter up look at that Nintendo stuff. This is literally all free inventory <laughs> Which he was ready to buy a couple days ago and they thought it would all sell and it didn't so that's all freebie and there's probably what how much do you think you got in there a G got a thousand bucks worth of stuff easy all right made it back to the office got the u-haul out there ready to go um i failed to clean up all of our warehouse sale stuff usually this gets boxed up put upstairs a lot of the stuff is just getting liquidated Obviously we're running out of space for a lot of this bigger stuff. So for now, I'm just gonna pile a bunch of stuff here. I'm thinking what I can do is since that Bowflex comes in like seven different boxes for the one complete kit, I'm gonna put everything on the pallet with the pallet jack. One, it's easier to move. And then two, hopefully I can flip this thing quick so we can just wheel it out to whoever's vehicle shows up. So I think that's what we'll do for now. Get everything unloaded. And The van is unloaded. I somehow was able to manage getting all that out by myself. No injuries, so we're good. Here's a quick overview of everything that we got. We got a bunch of random, like you guys saw in the video, hand weights, different stuff like that. A lot of like $5 items, $10 items maybe. Just some cool little pieces that are not worth a lot of money, but they're just cool. 
Warner Bros. Bugs Bunny 1991 little carry bag got some type of plain drawer deal back there a couple of these little jewelry cases Jacob scored this guy right here so we're gonna list this on Facebook marketplace and see if we can get a few bucks out of it a bunch of the odds and ends stuff which is not gonna be worth a lot of money like this kind of stuff you know five maybe ten dollars if I'm lucky a lot of older tech in the fitness stuff so this I would just consider all scrap. You know, I might make 20, 30, 40 bucks on the entire load, but there is a used total gym. Everything is complete. There is a brand new in the box total gym. That's where we can make our money back again. We paid about $300 for everything. $200 for the actual product, the buyout, and then the U-Haul plus gas and miles was about $100. So do some more research on this specific model because there's different variations. Pretty sure we can get our two to $300 back just on that. This guy, I have to look up the model number. Of course, I have to test it and all that good stuff, but maybe 50 bucks on the low end, high end of 100. If we choose to sell it, this is actually a perfect setup where I would love to mount some type of desk so I can have a walking desk here in the office. So I might end up keeping that one. This was the main reason we bought it. The Bowflex Ultimate 2 is what this is called. All of these boxes make up one giant Bowflex set. New ones are about 1500 bucks. The used ones have sold anywhere between four and 500 eBay local pickup. So I'm gonna list this for about 750 local, see if I can get some money out of it. So all in all, I expect to get our actual investment back on total gym and this odds and ends stuff. The profit is gonna be on this guy right here. It might take a little bit to sell. It is a huge set and hopefully whoever picks this up has a truck. And that concludes today's video, short and sweet. Just wanted to show you guys a cool little haul that we did. Um, spent 300 bucks, should be able to minimum double our money. It is a lot of extra labor uh, time that goes into this kind of flip, but there's something about it that we thoroughly enjoy. So we don't mind adding this little way of sourcing product into our little array of side hustles that we do. So again, stay tuned for future videos showing what sold on this channel and hopefully this stuff will be in there very soon. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys for the next one.